What's up? It's your boy Skip Jenkins. This is the Skip Goes Hard Binky83 channel. I am the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the land of YouTube. February 1st, 2017. This video, this video right here, this is going to be a serious video. Hello. No, Siri, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about my people right here with your nosy ass. Anyway, look, I'm talking about like this is going to be a serious video. Serious video. No music, no pussy ass music playing in the background. Uh, you know, I'm I'm going to keep the jokes down to a minimum. Y'all know me, I like to joke around, say funny shit. But you know, like you I mean, the, the title, the title says it all. Is it worth it to have so many shoes? I'm talking about like, is it, is it, is it really worth it to have so many shoes? And I'm talking about not your athlete, entertainer, millionaire who has, you know, that has like the mansion 17 motherfucking cars goddamn bowling alley in this house and shit motherfucking carnival in the backyard i'm not i'm not talking about them i'm talking about they're, they're rich they're rich i'm talking about regular nine to five ass niggas like myself and shit pretty much nine out of ten youtubers sneaker youtubers you know i'll say nine out of ten because there's more people with with regular ass jobs nine to five ass jobs than there is people who who uh like sneaker youtube people who who get paid for, you know paid to do this shit you know there's more of us than them that's why i say no let me say i say probably like 8.5 out of 10 you know but my thing is is it worth it for my i'm talking about nine to five working as niggas like myself and down there everybody else is it worth it to have so many shoes hundreds of shoes hundreds is it worth it because if you think about it, half half the sneaker YouTubers right now that have that have channels and shit like that that are like my age and maybe a couple years younger or you know, a few years older than myself, we didn't get the chance to get all our shoes when we were when we were in middle school, high school, stuff like that. Because our parents weren't going to spend that money on some pussy ass shoes. You know what I mean? Parents, part of our parents back then were more worried about, you know, us going to school, getting good grades, make sure we go to, sk we go to school with uh, clean clothes on our backs and fucking full ass stomachs. We eat. You know what I mean? Not saying that the kids who had J's weren't eating because i'm sure you know the motherfuckers had money you know to, uh their parents had money to you know spend money on fucking 100 hundred dollar ass shoes on top of like you know like make sure their kid is fed and clothed and all that stuff i'm not talking about that i'm not talking shit i'm insane like the majority of our parents majority of us like my age group we were not getting j after j after j after j in middle school and in high school our parents they they weren't doing that shit you know what i mean that's why all of us grow up now we have no we have no fucking choice to get every fucking shoe that damn there comes out because we're, we are reliving our memories of when we were kids back then and missing out on all our fucking shoes that we really wanted so bad we didn't get a chance to get because our parents you know wouldn't get those shoes for us and of course, you know, middle school, we weren't working like that. We didn't have no fucking money. Broke ass, you broke ass student. You know, only money you get is fucking birthday money, Christmas ass money, and shit like that. Or like you want to, you know, cut grass, wash cars, shit like that. But I'm saying the majority of us, like my age group, that's why we buy all these fucking shoes. Especially, you know, the shoes that came out when we were kids and we didn't get a chance to get because we didn't have any money. Shit, we grown ups now. We got job. We gonna get every fucking shoe that comes out. Nigga, we gonna get every fucking shoe that comes out. All the shoes that we missed out, shit. And that's how, and you, you, we, we, we hear that. 
we, when we watch our uh, favorite sneaker YouTubers, you know, we hear the story about, man, I, mean, I, remember, I remember when I was a kid, I didn't get a chance to get this. My parents were like, no, I wasn't going to get this shoe for you. Now that I got my own job, uh, I'm, I'm an adult now. Shit, I'm going to get the shoe. That's how it mainly is. The majority of us, we get in these shoes because we did not get a chance to get the shoe when we were kids. We're growing up, so we make our own motherfucking money. We do what we want to do now. We get what we want to get. So that's why we have all these fucking shoes. The majority of us. I bet your bottom dollar I'm not bullshit. My niggas, my subs, y'all watching me? I know y'all shaking your head like, damn, that nigga Skip was right. Y'all shaking your heads like, damn, man, that, that sounds like me. You know, I was a kid. My parents didn't give me these shoes. Now I'm grown up. I buy what the fuck I want. That's why we got a, a whole fucking room full of motherfucking pussy ass shoes. Like in the background. I don't mind the background. I know my background is fucked up. My shit raggedy than a bitch. I know, but I'm saying, but the majority, all you see is motherfucking shoes in the background. This is my storage room. I got... Y'all don't even see what's over there. I got fucking blankets and pillows and shit over there. I got a big ass Elmo thing. My wife's old when she was a kid and shit. Motherfucking blankets and shoes and shit in this fucking room. But enough of that. I don't want to get off topic. But I'm just saying. Is it worth it to have so many shoes? Back to the regular 9 to 5. 9 to 5 is like myself. Now. And especially us with kids. I have a daughter. And I think about it. I don't want to be the guy, the man, that, you know, the only like when I when I'm get when I get like to my fucking sixties and seventies and damn eighties, Lord forbid if I can even live that long. Sixties, seventies, eighties, maybe even nineties. I to to be honest, to be really honest with you all, I don't want a whole bunch of motherfucking shoes. I don't want a whole bunch of shoes. What the fuck am I going to do with a whole bunch of goddamn basketball shoes, Jordans and whatnot, when I'm 60, when I'm 70, when I'm 80? Now, some of y'all be like, hey, man, you can, you can sell them and shit like that, or you can save them for your daughter. I don't want my daughter to give a fuck about some fucking some shoes when she gets older. I'm talking about like when she's like in her 20s, you know, going to school because I want my daughter to go to college. I want, that's what I want for my daughter. I, if, if anything, if anything, I don't want to die and just leave her with a whole bunch of fucking shoes. I don't want to die and have my daughter be like, all my dad left me was a, was a room full of fucking shoes and now I got to do something with these shoes. Uh... I have to, I'm going to have to sell these shoes because I need money for school or I need money for this and that. That's why me as a father, as a man, I'm going to make sure my daughter is good. I'm talking about that's why we got like, we got a little trust fund set up for her. And besides that, you know, every time I get paid and shit like that, my wife get paid, we put money aside for my daughter, for our daughter. When she grows up, she's going to have her own money. She can do what the fuck she wants to do with her money. We want her to go to school. So we're going to use that money, trust fund money, all this shit, whatever. She's going to go to school with her money. Well, actually, she can do what the fuck she wants to do with her money. But that's, we want our daughter to go to school. I'm just saying, like, when I'm old, I don't want to, like, leave her... Yeah, I mean, like, let's let's get real. Let's get real about this. Fathers out there, like myself, that have a whole bunch of fucking shoes. Do you want your kid or kids to rely on having a whole bunch of fucking shoes, like when we're older, when we when we pass away, having just a room full of fucking shoes? You know what I mean? Like we we pass away, and all we left our kids is a, a fucking room full of shoes do we want that we don't want that and i'm not i'm not going out like that because i think about it like i know when i'm in my 60s 70s 80s and shit like that i'm not gonna be wearing no fucking no phones now i know when we when we when we go on instagram and we see you know pictures of like you'll see like an old head oh, i don't want to say an old head we'll see like a senior citizen wearing like phones or yeezys or jordans like that we see that and we be like oh man that's an old sneakerhead but when you think about it like i don't want to be a senior citizen walking around in some fucking shoes like this walking around in some jordans some yeezys like tennis shoes like that like if i'm old and they got like a senior citizens league and we're out there you know they gave us the court for like an hour and shit we have all our old asses on the court 
balling it up and shit, trying to do all the old shit we were doing back in our 20s and 30s. You know, you might have somebody wearing some foams, old shoes back in the day, some Jordans like that. But I'm talking about like casually, casually walking around. Nigga, I'm not going to be a senior citizen wearing some fucking Jordans or no foams, like shoes like this. I don't, I, I don't. I don't want to be a senior citizen wearing fucking shoes like this. I don't. And when we think about it, like all, like me and everybody that's my age, all these sneaker YouTubers out there, like what do we, like if we don't have a plan, when, we're, when, we, when we are in our 60s, 70s, and 80s, you know, I will, we'll have our kids and grandkids, and it's, it's, this is like, this is all we're going to fucking have. It's some shoes. Now, I'm not talking about, like, the house. I mean, we'll hopefully, you know, we'll all have houses and cars and boats and shit like that. Like, stuff like retirement, old people shit. You know what I mean? But this is what we'll have. If we don't put our money, and I'm talking about, like, us, like, not us. I'm talking about us, like, as in fucking off all, all our money on shoes instead of, like, you know, saving it up for important shit like when we all retire shit like that that's what i'm talking about like when we get old all we gonna have if we fuck up our money and don't put our money into some shit invest or whatever people want to do with their own money like i said you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with your money i can do whatever the fuck i want to do with my money that's why i save my money yes i buy shoes but i i save my money as well i don't fuck off all my money on some pussy ass shoes man and I'm speaking younger sneakerheads out there, listen to what I'm talking about. I know you're young right now, and you know, you want to get all these J's and shit, and you want to fucking stunt and show off for fucking niggas and shit like that, dudes and shit in school, you know, in the hoes and in school like that. You want to show off, you want to be all cute and shit with your little pussy ass joggers. Not talking about joggers, I'm saying like, you know, you know, little pussy ass joggers and sneakers like that. But when we get old, it's important that you have a plan, my young, my young subscribers, my young viewers have a plan if you have parents that care about you like my parents they care about me and they always told me save your money when i joined the military my dad was like you know you're making this money now because you wasn't making you know because you know teenager got like like little pussy ass jobs and shit like that bill but i joined the military and my dad was like save your money save your money you know what have a plan See, a lot of young, young sneakerheads, young people, they don't have a man telling them real shit like I'm doing. Like I said, this is going to be a real video. I don't have no pussy ass music playing. I'm, I'm not really into all the jokes right now. I'm being like ex really serious right now. Is it worth to have so many shoes? Is it worth it? Because us, when we're older, this is what's going to happen. We're going to be in our fucking 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and we're going to be like, uh, hey, y'all come on in. Come on in to Grandpa's house. Shit. I, I want to show y'all something. Step into the room. The room is going to be like 10 feet away, but we're old. It's going to take us goddamn two weeks to get to the room. I want y'all to come in over here. So we're going to walk over to the room and shit, and you could be like, we're going to open the old-ass door. Look at all my shoes. I was collecting since I was 16. I was collecting like I was your age. Look at all my shoes. Look at all my shoes. Ain't that a ain't that a bitch? We're old like that. Still have a room full of fucking shoes. A room full of shoes. What are we going to do? And we know, we're, I mean, we're young now, so we like we can wear a different shoe every day and shit like that. You know, like, I'm going to talk about, like, you niggas, you can wear a different shoe every day for a fucking year or three months because we have, like, that many shoes just like that. But I'm saying, like, when we get old, we're just going to have a whole bunch of... Who wants to be that old the way I was doing? Eh, this is all my shoes. And I'm talking about like having that voice. Who wants to be that old and have a room full of fucking shoes? When we're that old, if we don't have somebody that's taking care of us or checking up on us, we're going to have a whole room full of dusty ass fucking shoe boxes and shit. Spider webs all in the shoes. All the fucking shoes are going to decay because we all know we've seen like shit on Instagram or YouTube videos when you have like, you know, old Jordans from like the 80s or early 90s, how they're fucking crumbling up and fucked up like uh like threes and fours and fives and sixes. I'm talking about, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about like when people do like uh 
uh, like they, they swap out the soul and shit like that. That is what's going to happen to all these fucking shoes. Because we didn't get rid of them. We love our shoes. So we're going to be old ass senior citizens, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90 years old with a whole room full of fucking shoes. And them bitches going to be decayed and all fucked off. So when we die, our our kids and grandkids, what, what are they, especially like if we don't have anything else to show, the, all we're going to have is a whole bunch of fucking shoes. A fucking dusty ass, funky ass, stuffy ass room Full of full of full of fucking basketball shoes. When we die, this is what we're gonna leave our uh, kids and grandkids. And then our, cause this is gonna be like I'm talking about years from now. Who even knows how the sneaker game is gonna be fucking 30, 40 years from now? Like all this shit in the background, this shit can be like just 30, 40 years from now. We'll fucking look back and be like, damn man, we'll be looking at old ass YouTube videos of us and shit. We be like, damn man, I. All these shoes I had, like now these motherfucking shoes ain't worth shit. And then we'll be talking about, man, I wish, like, fuck, man, back in like 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, I, 2025, I wish I would have just sold them fucking shoes. Now I'm fucking 78 years old, a room full of fucking 220 fucking damn they're almost 300 pairs of shoes in this old ass stuffy fucking room and they're all decayed and all fucked up and all discolored and i don't and and i don't have shit they're just gonna sit they're old just like me we pass away all we're gonna leave our fucking kids and grandkids is a whole bunch of fucking shoes paul paul's dead we're dead now we, we gotta find out what the fuck we're gonna do with, with, with fucking paul paul's house and shit uh, you know, it all depends, like, if we weren't up, you know, up taking care of shit, we gonna have an old fucked up ass house, old ass house that's not being taken care of and shit like that. Mind you, we're old, we can't just get up and move and shit and dance and, and climb up shit and paint and fucking fix shit around the house. We're old, we all know, we all have grandpas, I'm, gonna, I'm talking about grandparents that can't, like, some of us had grandparents that be in the gym and shit, working out, niggas they be pop-locking and shit in good, in good shape. But some of us, even our parents, our grandparents, we're, they're getting old. They can't move like they used to. They can't do all this shit like we used to. I mean, like they used to. We're going to be old. If you're not taking care of your shit right now, you can have an old fucked up ass house, not, not painted, this old ragged ass house. And you can have a room full of stuffy ass, fucking decayed ass fucking shoes. Pawpaw's dead. Our grandma's dead. She was a sneakerhead too, because you know females they, they collect sneakers. So Papa, uh, Grandma's dead, and they left us a room full of fucked up ass, discolored, decayed ass, fucked up ass, old ass damn Michael Jordan sneakers. I say Michael Jordan sneakers, cause this is like fucking 30, 40, 50 years into the future. You know what I mean? Jordan's already gonna be dead. You know what I mean? 50 years from now, I mean who knows? 50, 60, 70 years from now, he's gonna be gone. Seven years from now, I'm gonna be fucking damn near almost fucking a hundred and fucking. I'm, I'm gonna be like, whatever, like 90, 100 or some shit, like seven years from now. You think somebody 98 years old is gonna be fucking wearing J's and shit? We're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be pooping on ourselves, peeing on ourselves. We're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna be broken. We're gonna pass away. We're gonna leave our kids and grandkids and great great grandkids nothing but a room full of fucking shoes. Is it worth it to have so many sneakers? Is it worth it? Now it is. We're young. We can wear all the fucking shoes. We can show them bitches off on Instagram and YouTube. You know, make little pussy ass videos or our, little, our fucking Jordan collection and cheesing and shit like that, which I'm not talking shit of. I'm just saying, now we're young. We can do that shit. But I'm talking about like when we're senior citizens, when we're old, is it worth it to have so many shoes? Like, are we going to do something with these shoes? Ask me. Hey, Skip, somebody asked me, Skip, are you going to uh, do some of your shoes? Yes, I am. One thing, I'm not going to, if I'm, a, when I like to say senior citizen because I'm like 60s, 70s, 80s. I'm not going to have a room full of fucking shoes. I'm not. Now, if you're old and you have a whole bunch of shoes, I'm not talking shit. One person who is, I don't know how old he is, but Jumpman Bostic, he's been collecting shoes since goddamn probably like 1983, 84. Nothing but Jordan's shit. Jordan shit. So he has the basement full of J's. 
And it's not just shoes. He has, you know, like Jordan memorabilia. He has a whole bunch of Michael Jordan related things. Now him, I'm not, I'm not talking about him because this is his collection. That's what he does. But I'm sure someplace he has a plan. He knows that he's not going to be alive forever. So I'm sure he's either going to do something with those shoes. He's either going to leave it to one of his kids. His kids, I don't even know if he has kids or not. But I'm saying like he's going to leave it. I'm, I'm just saying he might leave it to somebody. Or when he starts to get older, he might just start just selling his collection off. Or stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just saying, and this damn video long as shit, it's like 20 minutes. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I don't know what he's going to do. But I'm sure he knows that he's not going to be around forever. Something's going to happen to wh whatever. So when, when he passes away, he's going to have the basement full of J's. Like, what the fuck is he going to do with all those shoes? What is he going to do with them? Now, he could keep it as a shrine and for so his family from, from generation to generation, they could have all, like, all in his house or whatever. They could be like, hey, look, this is our great, great, great grandpa. He was really into uh, Michael Jordan. He's a basketball player back in the fucking 80s, 90s, whatever. And this is his shrine. This is, his, this is our, our Pawpaw's collection. I mean, he, he's exempt because he, I mean, he, he, he's, I mean, he's Jumpman Bostic. He's exempt from this. That's why I'm not talking shit when I talk about like old people and have Jason wearing Jason like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about us like regular 95 ass people. Or us, uh, well, he's probably like a 95 worker too. But I'm saying like us, us, we're not Jumpman Bostic because half of us don't have a fucking collection like him. I'm not talking shit. I'm saying us like me. I don't have a collection like him. I have a little small collection. I bet y'all niggas think that nigga talking fast in the motherfucker. I am because this shit, this video long as shit, 21 minutes. But I'm saying now like, is it worth it to have all these shoes? Please, my sneaker YouTubers, my subscribers, my young subscribers, let's have a plan. I have a plan. I'm not going to have all these fucking shoes. I already know through time I'm going to end up selling these bitches and I'll probably keep maybe about a few shoes that's like really, really memorable, memorable to me. But all these other shoes and shit, nigga, me having like 63 fucking DS sneakers and shit like that, I know... Nigga, there's somebody else is gonna really appreciate the sneakers, and I'm gonna end up selling my collection maybe from maybe ten years from now. Cause I'm not gonna be no senior citizen wearing no fucking shit like this. I'm not. This is a lovely shoe, but I'm talking about as a senior citizen, I'm not gonna be wearing no fucking basketball shoes like that. I'm not. I can't see myself. Be hey, y'all come over to Paul Paul's house. Imagine some nigga like that wearing some fucking uh foams. He be looked at like nigga, you can get your old ass out of here. Oh fucking blow you down and just take your fucking shoes and walk off because you why why run you fucking 70 years old nigga you ain't gonna sprint after nobody you ain't fast like that no more nigga you're not in your 20s and your 30s you gonna be like hey get my cane and some shit and you could just fucking like power walk like nigga whatever see you later i'm just saying hey, man i hope i hope what i was saying I, I there's so much more i want to talk about but i don't know when this shit's gonna go out and i'll be damned if i said all this shit and this motherfucking video cut this damn phone cut out i'm gonna be mad as shit it means i gotta start the fuck over but anyway, hey, look, that's this what that's this what I was on my mind right now. I'm Skip Jenkins. This is Skip Goes Hard Binky83 channel. Like my video. Like, please like this video. Share this video. I don't give a fuck if you like it. Share this video. Young, young, my young viewers, watch this video with your parents. Y'all, as a family, put this motherfucker on the TV. Y'all watch it together. Because I know your parents are going to agree with me. Hell, some of them are probably my fucking age and shit. Who fucking knows? But I'm saying that. I hope, and I hope. I cuss, so I'm just saying, like, hey, man, my bad. Anyway, look, I'm Skip Jenkins. This is Skip Goes Hard Binky 83 channel. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Skip Jenkins, the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the land. I said it, and I stand by that. I'm that nigga. I'm the nigga with the red gloves. Wash y'all's asses, and I'm out. But, hey, look, final thought. Look, we're not going to be, is it worth it to have so many shoes? Because when we're when we're dead and gone and we don't have our shit together, we're gonna leave our kids with a fucking room full of dusty ass, fucked up ass, discolored ass, crumpled up, decayed ass shoes. And then they'll be wondering, damn, I, what am I gonna do with all these shoes? My dad my dad didn't leave me anything else but just some fucking shoes. Like what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? My daughter's not gonna go through that. No no. She's not gonna go through that. My daughter's gonna have her shit. She's not my daughter's not gonna have to worry about uh, having to sell uh, all all her all of her dad's old ass fucking shoes to uh, to get some money to do something for her future. No, because her future is pretty much already set. I'm just saying. 
I'm Skip Jenkins. This is Skip Goes Hard Binky 83 channel. Thank you for watching this video. Share this video. Um, I have really more to say. Like I said, I don't know when this motherfucker is going to cut out. I'm going to be pissed off if it does. But that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Wash y'all's asses. Please leave a comment. Share this video. This, shit, this is a good video. Alright, thank you. I'm out. Peace.